Saturday Social, brought to you by EA Sports FC with PlayStation 5. One place to start the Saturday Social white and what is out. We do have two very opinionated guests. Man City fan, Booby. Arsenal fan, Robbie. What's the plan, Jack? Yeah, they're going to have to back their teams today because what we have tasked them to do is build a combined mm. Premier League era Man City and Arsenal team. So this isn't just based mm. on the season, this isn't based on form, this is based on the Premier League year, and I can tell you now, <laughs> there is not much agreement. There is no. not much agreement at all. OK, let's start with the keepers then. As Joe said, only criteria is that to play in the Premier League. Best 11 we're building from both teams. Robbie, Boovy. Who have you got? Yeah, do you, you know, is this, uh, this is uh, hang on, whoa, whoa, whoa. Like. Man City fan Boovy's got David Seaman, former yeah. Arsenal keeper, and, and Arsenal fan <laughs> Robbie has got... Man City what is Edison, on, what's going on? Although now that you've put Seaman there, let's go with Seaman. No, you can't, <laughs> can't, can't even argue. Can't flip flop. Come on, lad. Come on. I won't even argue. You know no, what I mean? Why Edison for you over I Seaman? I just thought why Seaman, Edison over Seaman? I was sort of thinking at first Seaman wasn't in. If you actually break it now, went in the Premier League for a long time. Yeah, but he did win it twice. So maybe, whereas Edison's won it more times. So that's the only reason why I was sort of edging towards Edison. But now that he's Put Seaman there. I'll back my guy, man. Seaman. Instantly. He's, he's actually an actual goalkeeper. Yeah. Seaman was better. Yeah, OK. He's just because we were talking about yeah. Premier League era, but as an actual goalkeeper, yeah. I think Guardiola David would take Seaman's Edison. Better. I think Guardiola would take Edison for the build-up play. Because he he's a modern keeper. His feet, yeah. If you asked Sir Alex Ferguson, Jose Mourinho, obviously Arsene Wenger, David Seaman was, for a couple yeah, of years, the best keeper, keeper in the world. The 98 double winner side is arguably yeah. the better side than the Invincibles, and he was part of that. So, yeah. Interesting, David Seaman, more Premier League appearances than Edison. 3 2 5 for Seaman, 2 4 4 for Edison, both multiple Premier League trophy winners. We go with Seaman. Let's go Seaman. Yeah, yeah, let's go with that. In the studio. I love it. Like it. Booby right. coming in. Nice Well done, Booby. Yeah. Well done. I, I know <laughs> the fact that he's given us Edison, um, Seaman. Yeah. yeah. Probably means that he's going to get very controversial. I think you've worked it out. I think you've I know this guy already. I can read him like a book. Uh, do we have an agreement at right back? Is, are you Surely. both going to suggest the same name here? Are you Surely. happy with Kyle Walker? I was worried he was going to say Loren or something. I went with Kyle Walker just yeah. because, as I said, the long, longevity is, you know, he's won multiple leagues. Yeah. Some, of yeah. Them, yeah. some of these leagues could be questioned, but... We, we, oh, we, 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 <laughs> are we sad? Are you going to say something about this? That's a yellow card for Thoughts Robbie. Robbie yeah. Yeah. A yellow card for Robbie. Uh, better than that, man. These thoughts, thoughts, David Seaman. These are the thoughts of myself only. <laughs> yeah, they are. Quite to to Sky say. TV. Are we, uh, are we saying he's the best right back in Premier League history <laughs> now, Carl Walker? I think the best compliment you can give Carl Walker is that he's even in a discussion with Gary Neville. And Gary Neville is completely underrated in terms of how good he was. Yeah. Clearly the best right back for many, many football fans. The fact you can say there's an argument, you don't think I'm crazy saying Carl Walker's better. For me, I think he's better, a better modern fullback, but in mm. to, a bit like David Seaman, but in, as, as a total footballer throughout the ages, Gary Neville's a better right back. What's interesting about Carl Walker as well is the amount of players, because there's a huge debate yeah. now about best right backs in the leagues with the likes of Trent, Trippier, and Walker. There's, there's <clears> loads <throat> of great right backs, but the amount of players that play against him that say the best player I've ever played against, Vinicius this Vinicius. week is another one to add to the long list. They all say Carl Walker. Mbappe as well in the World Cup, yeah. obviously. Let's get him up. Okay, stick him up. Right. Well, next up, we'll do centre back. Let's do your pairing. Reveal him. Let's, Let's get, see get if you've got any agreement. Any Robbie, agreement. just angle yours to the camera. Booby, you've gone with Company and, and Stones. Two City, and you've gone with two Arsenal. Oh, uh, Adams and Campbell. Adams and Campbell. Booby, your face, you're not happy. Uh, what do you mean, no, come on. Look, Tony Adams has got the iconic status as an Arsenal legend, so obviously we can debate that. Sol Cam I think John Stone is a better centre back than, than Sol Campbell. What? He is, he is. <laughs> because it's about total football play now. Sol Campbell couldn't distribute what, what John Stones could out from the back. His passing range is out of this world. Yeah, right. John, John Stones is popping up in midfield. Mm. He's pop, pop, popping up as a false nine sometimes Why in, in Champions League games. What he needs to do sometimes is pop up in defence. Yeah. Which is what his job is. One of the best right? defences is the Premier League. Uh, so John, is Sol John Campbell. Stones, Sol Campbell. John Stones is part of a defence that got 100 points in a Premier League season. Sol Campbell's part of a defence that went invincible. A legend. Invincible. <laughs> went the whole season, right, without losing a game. Yeah. Imagine, you, points is imagine you got a whole season. Imagine you go a whole season without What's better, 100 points. You think 100 points is better than it, Vincent? Of course it's not. Let's get, let's get Rob not. Edwards on the phone now for Luton. We, we, would Rob Edwards take 38 draws and be invincible in the Premier League or take 100 points and you get, have, in the league? Listen, hold on, wait a minute. Listen, you can get relegated. Ridiculous. Robbie, that's do you want to get relegated? You, you can said. get relegated being invincible. You can't invincible. draw 38 games and win the league. You nearly did. You'd have you drew, 38 you drew about points. 20 games in the Premier League. No, he's saying, you could, he's saying you could draw every game and get relegated. Yeah, you can, draw, you, could, you can draw 38 games. You usually need yeah, but we won the league, league, bro. Yeah, you won the <laughs> league. You're rubbish, <laughs> in that. You're rubbish in the Champions League. We won the... Hold on, hold on. We're not talking, the the talking about the Champions League. You didn't win a League Cup. We're not talking about the League Cup. Centurions won a double. The Centurions won the League Cup. 
uh, beating you, by the way, League Cup, and then won the Premier League title with more points. The Premier bro, League is about, about winning gladiators, the points. Yeah? No. We're talking about <laughs> the Premier League. And I'm yeah. saying that imagine you're a defender that's in a team that yeah. goes the whole season unbeaten. A defender's main job yeah. is to keep Scraping goals draws. out. That was his job. Let, let, let me finish. Let me week. finish. A defender's main job is to keep the ball out of that net, right? Yeah. Defend your net. Yeah. Yeah. And he's not even put, defending. But we're not right? talking about the Chelsea and side of the And he went a whole season unbeaten. And to just wipe out this stupid argument about draws, <laughs> Arsenal won the league as well. Yeah, but you didn't win anything right? else. You're rubbishing Europe. We won the, we're talking you're about the Premier League. Is this the Premier League area or are we talking about Champions League? That season, Premier League. That season you were, you were Come on, you know it. Terrible in you Europe know it. Well. Right? John if Stones, your defence was that good, you would have been much better in Europe. Listen. Obviously, Arsenal never achieved anything in Europe. Sol Campbell certainly didn't. With so all due respect, you have to be <laughs> so an under... trying to play. John Stones trying to switch Champions it to Europe. League winning centre back. He's trying to switch it to Europe, Champions League. We talked about Premier League era. Yeah, he yeah. knows in his heart of hearts that these two were better. I gave you right? Tony Adams. And no, you don't give me nothing. I don't want nothing from you. Yeah, yeah. We haven't actually discussed. Campbell's nowhere near John Stones. Let's have a look. By the way, can I just ask you a question? You're debating John Stones and Sol Campbell heavily. Is the obvious answer not Company and Adams? <laughs> the two? No, no, <laughs> no. Is that not the obvious because, answer? Because Sol Campbell's better than Company as well. Both... Oh, come on, we're trying to Sol Campbell better than show. Company. He's better than Company as well. What, what, what he was world better than Company as well. No, he wasn't. Wow. No, he wasn't. He I was love Sol Campbell, Campbell, by the way. Well. I love Sol Campbell, Campbell by the way. unbelievable defender. Company's won more Premier League titles. It's an unbelievable Company's had more iconic moments. Company against Leicester City. Company against Man United. Company's far well, more we can, we can look at the uh, Premier League goals, 18 company, eight for Sol Campbell. Um, two Premier League trophies for Sol Campbell. Four Premier League trophies for Company. Obviously, both had great careers, but stats-wise, they so edge towards Company. You've got, you've got to let me know, lads. We're in the Premier League, OK? We're talking about the Premier League. The one factor for the Premier League is points, OK? Company got 100 no, points. Win, win, the, win no, no, the Premier League. No, it's not about draws like we used to. It's about, go, getting, go, it's about getting points and winning season. the trophy. As you've, said, won, you've won the title the whole three season times. You've won the Premier League title three yeah, times. No one's done it. I can, every time I come on the show... Can I make a point? Um, every time I come on the show, I'll say, you, no you, one's you, ever done if it. If you want Adams and you want, you want company, company, if you want Adams and you want company, do we not just settle for Adams and, uh, Adams and company? No, not really. That's not the logical thing to do. He's, he's, no. being, he's uh, being bitter about it. I gave you no. David. I think, to be fair here, we'll let you select one player each. One each. So you can pick one of your two, and you can pick one of your two. So Adams and company, it's got He's got more Premier League titles than Arsenal. Get him up, then. Here we go. This is what I said three minutes ago. Get him on. Get him on. Right, is there going to be similar no. levels of debate As at left-back? As we back? thought. Stones. <laughs> debate left-back or are we just a tap in for Have you gone with Chelsea legend Ashley Cole? It's not a Chelsea legend, it's the Arsenal legend. <laughs> no, he, right. if you ask right. him, he says he's a Chelsea legend. He's, he's both legends. He legend. achieved at it's Chelsea. Chelsea. It's a big difference. He's, he's a legend at both. Hall of Famer this he was, week. Let's yeah. get him Hall of Famer. He was desperate to leave Arsenal as soon as he could. He was. He was desperate to leave like, Arsenal. He yeah. loved going to Chelsea. Well, you know, unfortunately, at the, he time, success. at the time at Arsenal, you know what I mean, we had a problem with funding. You had a problem winning the European So Because we, we were trying to do things right in the right way, and we had a problem in funding <laughs> and holding on to some of these players. We lost players to Chelsea. We lost many players to Man City. Yeah. Because you, you lacked now ambition. Now, we are yet to find you out. Went, you went for a stadium. Right, let's to move find on to the yeah, 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 yeah. That's ambition. That's Ashley what it Cole. is. Congratulations, Ashley Cole, by the way. Right. Uh, Hall of Famer. DM. Premier League Hall of Famer. Who have you got in the defensive midfield, bro? Who have you got? <laughs> Come on, man. Vieira versus Rodri. Come on, man. Would Vieira do what Patrick Rodri did in the, in the treble win? By the way, we're doing this show. Okay, we won the treble. In the Premier League era. In 20 years, Robbie and I will be doing the show in 20 years. Rodri changed English football with how, oh, well, how he applies himself. Come back in 20 years' time. Yeah, we'll do we it. We'll do the show. Let's get right a Say that statement again. <laughs> this is a treble winner. We talk yeah. about David Beckham. We talk about Ryan Giggs winning the treble <laughs> yeah. in 1999. We, we talk about it. No one talks about the incredible achievement. This guy has played about 65 games and not lost a single game. He's guiding City to winning a treble. Now, Vieira is one of my favourite players of all time in the league. I love him. He's a City legend as well. He's desperate to join Man City, by the way. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> uh, but ultimately... Rodri's at a higher level, he just is. Can I just make a point? Obviously, Rodri's a fantastic player, but v Vieira, are you forgetting the fact it's a World Cup winner? He could play together. World Cup winner. Next to level. Box to level. box. Next box. Level. I mean, you're Did talking the there. Cup? You're talking there about one of the. One World Cup? Did he win the World Cup? But he's still got time right? to go. This player is a next level. Good. Did we you hear what both. he said? Go on. If we come back in 20 years. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you need, you need. No, but I'm saying that because we're here now. I, yeah, but I'm saying here right you, now. Sometimes in football, you know it's Vieira. Yeah, but Robbie, come on, you, you know, in, in football, come on. you need 20 years to reflect on things. You've movie. been reflecting on not winning the title. It's for okay, years. man. You can say. All right. Do you, do you want to have both, maybe? <laughs> I've, no, I've got to say, uh, for oh, me... Oh, come on. All right. uh, you, I think we've got to have Vieira. I mean, say, BFA I Premier League that. Team of the Year six times, Patrick yeah. Vieira. He's got to be in. Yeah. But can yeah, I, I agree with what you're saying about Rodri, top player, maybe... Great player. Are there any agreements in your midfield? Yeah. 
Are there any agreements in your midfield? Well, I've gone De Bruyne. Yep, got to be. An agreement. OK, so yep. let's get KDB up. Has yep. to be. Definitely. Is he rapidly approaching? Robbie, let's go for your kind of neutral here. Rapidly approaching being maybe the best centre mid in the Prem's history? Yeah. Yeah. He's brilliant. Who is... No doubt him. For you both, who is the greatest midfielder in Premier League history, would you say? My, my gut, Steven Gerrard. My gut, in terms of total yeah. technical ability. Yeah. Yeah, Gerrard. Gerrard. It's close, though. Gerard People say Roy Keane, skulls and all that, but Gerard for me, but but he's getting close, and so is Rodri. But you, would you say Gerard? So you'd say Gerard at the moment better than De Bruyne? Just about. How yeah. many titles did Gerard. he win? Did he ever win any titles? Yeah, but that's a did different. He, did, did he get a hundred points? <laughs> that's a different debate. <laughs> See, it defeats all your <laughs> argument. I'm glad you said that. Are we doing Liverpool yeah? chat? <laughs> it's an Arsenal show. No, no, but, but yeah, I mean, I'm just saying. You've been looking. You know, I mean, everything to he's to tried to tie it into how many points, centurions. This, that. You've been looking what, what, forward to doing what this. Did you've been looking forward to doing this show for over a year. No, you've Come been back looking forward. <laughs> the last time yeah, I saw you, the to. last time I saw you doing a Captain America speech outside the Etihad. <laughs> <You've been looking laughs> you were, and, and now we're here. No, you're no, no, Liverpool. No. Which one? Last year's one or this year's yeah, one? Yeah, he's I'm a No, no, that wasn't the last <laughs> it's time. It's Avengers you saw. Endgame out here against, against one Thanos second. and all that. Yeah, that wasn't the last time you saw me. The last time you saw me, we were here when we beat you. Ooh. At the Emirates. Deflected goal, were you making We beat you at the Emirates, right? Yeah, the, so he forgot. Deflected again, goal. he completely forgot about that. That is true. You he scored a deflected goal and they were making Amazon memory. documentaries about it. As Honestly, a matter of fact, right? as a matter of fact, when this guy's talking about biggest game of the year, we played you twice this year. How many times have you beaten us? Yeah, you, yeah. You're worried, bro. Is he nervous? <laughs> nervous. Yeah, you're nervous gonna, energy from him. They'll get a one old drill and they'll make a, they'll make a one hour long YouTube premium uh, d <laughs> deluxe documentary. Have you got plans to do that? If, Honestly, yeah. At least we'll if walking around we, the Etihad. At least if we made it. A little golden trophy. I'd say one thing. At least if we made it, people would watch it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. right. Let's right. keep going through. You. Back to, oh. I don't know where we are. Third midfielder. You can't have Steven Gerrard on you. He doesn't play. He's a third midfielder. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I actually went so, I love that. Okay. Because I, love I, was, that. I was going more sort of, we got our sort of defensive guy in there. Yeah. The creativity of David Silva. Mm. But I must say, yeah, I did, Yaya Torre was a brilliant player as well. Mm. So it could yeah, be yeah. either in my books. But you've, you've not gone David Silva? I love, I love David yeah. Silva. I think Yaya could get into more different sides in, in terms of, if you put this Yaya uh, player into the Chelsea side that was amazing under Mourinho, uh, Sir Alex Ferguson, he would have made them better. David Silva, I'm not trying to slag him off or anything, but Yaya Torre was a total footballer to the highest level. Unbelievable player. I've never seen anything like it. I think there's an argument, we talk about some of the best midfielders ever. He doesn't have the longevity, mm. but in an individual season, it was 2013-14, I think it was, the Premier League's never seen a midfielder like it in a single season. Yeah. So if you're going to, let's say you're going to have the selection here because they're two City players and you go for Yaya. Yeah, I would, yeah. Does, how close is Rodri getting? I, it depends how we play. If we're conservative, play, you know, two in, uh, in defence and midfield, I'd put Rodri in over Yaya. That's how good I think Rodri is. Yeah, I mean, you, you can have potentially Rodri do that. I'll, I'll do that if you're happy with that. Patrick Vieira could play as an eight, couldn't he? And you can play put, put Vieira from the forward, yeah. yeah what are you saying about that? Happy well? with that? No, I really Rodri like this, over Yaya. I really like this fit in the things, man. Well, it's all Man City players anyway, isn't it? You chose Yaya, I go with Yaya okay, and David Silva. What are you trying to edge Rodri in for? I think yeah, but it's an interesting chat, though, isn't it? We're just, it? just having a discussion, Robbie. It's, it's uh, got to be tactically flexible. Uh, you know, you're getting desperate now, man. Maybe that's why you haven't won the league in 20 years, because you've not been tactically flexible enough. All right, let's get Yaya up then, if you bought Okay, so no David Silva. Surprise, no David I would have had Silva in there, to be honest. Yeah, well, he could still potentially feature. Maybe you could fit him in in a wide position. He yeah, played a little bit off the right at times, doesn't he, for... Yeah, all the, all the left. We've got three players yeah. left, so let's look at your right-sided player first, then. Are we, doing, are we doing that first? Bernardo versus... Who do you want to play? Up against... Played a bit of a different oh, formation, but never played me, right wing. Dennis Bergkamp has to be in this team. But what, has the right winger? If we have to put him well, on the right, he can interchange and move around. But Dennis Bergkamp has to be in this team. One of the greatest players of the Premier League era. Slightly overrated for me. Slightly overrated. I know Slightly. I'm going to get slagged off. I, I, I love what he did. Let that I, love slide. What he did. Wow. I love what he did. I love how how Arsenal. Explain how you slightly I've overrated. I've got to be honest. Well, you eulogise him and he's won no European Cups with Arsenal. He was a bit. Premier. He was a little bit overrated when he came in. Right? He wasn't the, the best transfer in the Overrated when he came in. Then he, came, then he was amazing. Now he's talking about a different thing, amazing. not the Premier League. How many league titles did he win? I mean, we've got to talk about some of these players. <sighs> three, Premier three Premier League Three Premier League titles, three FA Cups, PFA Player of the Year 97 90. I mean, I've got to be honest, I'm, I'm a Tottenham fan, but I, I cannot understand what these things are. Right. He was Bur a Bur phenomenal player. Oh, in, man. Bernardo Silva scoring player. goals against Real Madrid when we smashed Real Madrid 4 0. He scored goals against Bayern Munich in the quarterfinals. Would Burkamp have done that? 
As a well, right winger. He said he was overrated. That, that, we're slightly, not saying... slightly overrated. Oh, we we eulogise him too much. Too much. Right. <laughs> remember the Just slightly remember the Argentina game when he scored that absolute world in that yeah. World Cup? He's oh, ten, goals, ability, goals. 10 out of 10, but yeah. we, we, we eulogise his legacy slightly too much. Some of the goals that he's... You know what, just Robbie, highlight you stand up for your man, eh? You know what, right? I'm just listening to him dig, dig a deeper hole for himself. First of all, he says slightly overrated. That means yeah. he knows he's not overrated. Because <laughs> you know what he's like. Yeah. He knows that Dennis Bergkamp has to be in the, Listen, did you hear the stats he just read out? I've just asked you a question, though. Would he score against Real Madrid? Yeah, I'll just put it up, man. No, but would he oh, score no. against Real Madrid and Bayern Munich in a treble-winning season? Would Bergkamp do that? Come on, they need to get the to right. The one thing I will say is he would be unreal in a Pep team as well when he's floating around. Well, better than Bernardo roles. Silva. This guy, what he did with the ball... He was unbelievable. He would, I think Bergkamp on the train. He has to go on the yeah, train. I, I, I think Bergkamp. Dennis Bergkamp has, Bergkamp has to be, got to be there. Put it up there, man. Let's, let's be, Why do you always argue about everything? No, right, no, let's no. have a look at your last two players, then, <laughs> yeah, so if there's any agreement. Together. So you've got Henri and Aguero. Yeah, this uh, I presume sense. you've got Henri, you go. Robbie. Not Pirro. <laughs> He's the best player of the Premier League era. And yeah. Henri and... Go on, stick him on, then. And who? You do agree with that. Oh, yeah. Look, I love Thierry Henri. And he can... Henri and who, Robbie? And I went hard. left. Wow. So I put Haaland. Wow. So just... Listen, they can all change, but I, I've gone Haaland just because... It's a solid... I know he's only been there a small amount of time, but his, his goal-scoring record is ridiculous. Season and a half, though, and we've seen, you know, Aguero... Yes, he had his injury Do you know what it is with me, right? The most iconic moment probably in Premier League history, yeah. the gold-game yeah. ratio, better than anybody else. But what this guy's done Haaland. since he's come in, right, and he doesn't look like he'll stop... This season, he's been injured for after season. He's still the top goal scorer. <laughs> yeah. Mm. I, I think he's going to keep doing it as long as he's here. So that's why I'm putting him in. I, I just think he's, as an out and out striker, he's incredible. With that's, that, that's my With that opinion. said, Robbie, you've said Thierry Henry. I think a lot of people agree with you, by the way. Thierry Henry, greatest striker in Premier League history. You yeah. put Haaland in after only a season off, as you said there. Do yeah. you think by the time Haaland retires, his legacy could be greater than Thierry? I don't think it will be. I think his goal scoring record will be better. But I don't think... I just think Thierry Henry it wasn't just the goal scoring. It was his overall yeah, play, yeah. just what he brought to the Premier League. Yeah, yeah. You know, um, so Harlem will probably have a better goal scoring record, but overall, okay. you know, it's going to be Thierry Henry. And Booby? As a Man City fan, Aguero v Haaland, no, you I, went Aguero. I can't, yeah. I love Ailing Haaland. I think what you're saying about the numbers is spot on, Robbie, but... If we're putting in Bergkamp because of his aesthetic quality, which was sublime, same with Thierry Henry. Obviously, you argued David Silva. Erling Haaland still has got a lot to improve on. That's a, that's a massive uh, uh, voice of confidence because it says that he can actually be even better than he is. And he's, he's breaking all the records. But Aguero, I think prime Aguero in this Guardiola side would score just as many goals as Haaland. That's how good he was. I mean, so I... I, I, I we'll allow you to swap if you I want to swap. I, I, I understand why he goes with Aguero because up until then they'd won nothing. Right? So, you know... Nothing. We won the FA Cup, then he signed. They'd won nothing, won about, right? We won the FA Cup. They'd won we, no Premier League. Then we right? signed Aguero, so, then we won the league title. So I, I, I get why fan. so many City fans are sentimental with him. Because so the FA Cup's nothing? You lived on nothing. that for 10 years? We lived, nothing we won, they'd won. Rob, we, they'd Rob. been nowhere near any league ever. <laughs> Lads, okay. we, right, so I get it. We won the FA Cup, then he signed, and then we won the Premier League title. He scored a little goals against Arsenal, by the way. He brought you to the promised land, I get it. Yeah, that's OK. You've not been there for 20 years. He brought you Where were we? Well, there is... We're coming back. Where were you? We're coming back. A few years ago. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's that, financial pressures. We're uh, back. There is confirmation of, I'd like to say an agreed 11. It wasn't really much agreement at all, was there? No agreement. Five six Man City players, Arsenal players. six Arsenal players, and an all time <laughs> Premier League Combined 11. Let us know what you think of that uh, at home. Uh, right, we got there in the end. 